Hey fans, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today we are going to be doing a review of something that I pre-ordered long ago and it finally arrived today. Um, I think maybe the package I was originally sent got damaged or something because it was supposed to come at the beginning of April. I got an email saying it was delayed till like the end of April. Then I got another email saying that it was coming uh, this week. And it finally came today. And what do we have? Why well, simply a Nitro Pepsi Draft Cola, but also a Nitro Pepsi Vanilla Draft Cola. Um, if you are familiar with the beer Guinness, it is a nitrogen infused beer, which means it's not carbonated, it's nitrogenated. And what that means is Nitrogen gas have been forcibly infused into the cola, just like you would do CO2. Um, so what's the big difference? Well, nitrogen it has small, much smaller bubbles. So small, they're like micro, not microscopic necessarily, but micro bubbles. Um, whereas carbonation is usually really big bubbles. Um, and you can kind of feel more like a sparkliness when they fizz and pop in your mouth. Whereas these are so small, it gives it a more smooth, velvety texture. Um, I'm not sure how exactly the Pepsi are, is doing that for these cans. I don't set, I don't hear like the uh, telltale signs of one of those nitrogen devices that uh, Guinness uses. So it might be just nitrogen infused and then capped, which means hopefully all the nitrogen is still infused into the liquid and not just going to escape into the air as soon as I open the can. It does give you some instructions. Chill can. Done. Pour hard. Admire. And enjoy. There's some other steps in there, um, like opening the can, that they didn't say. If you have a really dumb person, they might not know. We'll just start pouring after they've chilled it and not know that it's supposed to open it first. Um, we're going to do this one at a time just because one thing with nitrogen is it does release rather quickly um, and it doesn't stay in the drink so it can go flat quicker than a, a normal one. So I'll get my first cup right here and we're going to crack it and pour it hard. That's one thing you got to do with nitrogen infused. You got to pour it hard. Um, with carbonation, because the bubbles are so big, it can overflow very easily. But you don't really, have, there's some risk of that um, with nitrogen infused, but the risk is lower. And nitrogen will also have a different sounding hiss. It should anyway, when I open it, here we go. Oh, it does sound like it was kind of released. Sort of pour it hard. Hopefully it will all without. There we go. Look at that head. Should be nice and creamy. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of the cascading features that you get sometimes from a nitrogen infused beverage. Uh, that just means that the bubbles came out more quickly than uh, those cascading ones. The cascades usually is just a slower build. Let's go ahead and drink this before the head's all the way gone. It smells just like Pepsi. It's like a creamy Pepsi. That head that comes on the top of that. It's like whipped Pepsi.
Now, once uh, it's done cascading, and you have all those bubbles on the top, the amount of nitrogen still in the liquid is relatively low. And since the bubbles are so small in general, what a lot of people think is now this is completely flat. Now, it is a lot flatter feeling than a carbonated beverage, that's for sure. There still is some nitrogen left in this. Um, you're still going to get some release, but since they're so small and so uh, low amount of them left in there, you're not really going to feel the feeling of carbonation as you would with a carbonated beverage. It's going to feel more on the flat side, but if you really um, pay attention to some of the textures in here, it's still going to taste and feel a little more velvety. Like it's, it's not like still, like a still water, it has some uh, velvety kind of texture to the feel of it in your mouth. So if I give it a spin and listen, you can still hear bubbles coming out. So there's definitely still nitrogen in there. You know, I don't hate it. It's that uh, it's a lot different experience than a regular carbonated Pepsi. It's easier to to go down because you don't have that harsh carbonation uh, feeling. It's more velvety. It's more smooth. Um, it's an interesting experience. I'm glad I tried it. I think everyone uh, who's interested should give it a try. There's no reason not to. If you're going to complain that it's not carbonated, then don't try it because it's not a carbonated beverage. It's a nitrogenated beverage. The last ingredient of it is nitrogen. And there's no... Oh, wait. Yep. I can see it. I don't know if you... This will be able to see. Well, there you go. See a little white cap at the bottom? You see a little hole in it. That's housing um, nitrogen in there. It's kind of like glued to the bottom cap here. And when you crack it open, it releases the nitrogen from the bottom all the way to the top. Um, good thing about that is, is the nitrogen is fresh. There's no risk of it leaving the can when you're opening it and not being there. Um, the downside of that is since you're opening the can and releasing the nitrogen, your own the drink is only catching the nitrogen that stays as it passes through. If you were gonna like put a beverage in like a whipped cream can or a nitrogen keg and then infuse it with the nitrogen, it is going to be able to absorb more of it and therefore hold more of it. Um, so when you pour it, you'll get more of a cascade than you will just all of it rising to the top and you're getting that creamy head mostly only. Um, but since you're cracking it open, you're leaving a hole at the top, you're not able to seal it again. It, uh, it doesn't have the time to fully infuse and hold on. But if you're gonna drink it relatively quickly, it shouldn't matter. Um, it's not going to be something you crack and then sip on for a long period of time because it's just it's, it's not going to be nitrogenated enough for too long. But I enjoy it. Um, will I get it again? Mm, probably not, but it was an experience worth the one-time try. Now I'll go for a second glass. And this time, this one is vanilla. So for this one, um, I know the experience already. 
And another th cool thing about since this is all the nitrogen is capped, technically you could shake this up as much as you wanted to, and it wouldn't make it any more explodey than normal. Let's go ahead and. Uh, oh wait, it does say carbonated water. So this is actually filled with carbonated water and then infused with nitrogen. You know, why is it so uncarbonated afterwards? I don't know. Anyway, let's open this one up. Oh, you can almost hear the two different sounds. And if you look on here, you will notice like some of the bubbles are definitely bigger than the others, especially like right, right on the top. drank from the can. Well, the instructions do say to pour it hard, though. Mm -hmm. like, uh, the vanilla is uh, pretty mild. It almost just tastes like it's a little bit sweeter than the other one. I'm gonna take a look at the sugar content. No, they're both no. This one actually has 63 grams of sugar, while the original has 62. One gram of sugar in a almost well, around 13 and a half size outsize can shouldn't be that noticeable, but it does taste sweeter. Maybe the vanilla just tricks your mind into thinking it's sweeter. It was all right. I don't. I just taste them back to back, and I couldn't tell you like if I like one more than the other because they're not really all too different. This one doesn't have even have, say vanilla flavor. Quill clay Balea extract. Does this one have clay extract? It does, so that's not different. They literally have the same ingredients, so... Who knows? First regular Pepsi. There's, a, there's an asterisk that says Versus regular Pepsi. So does it say something on here? Okay. Smaller bubbles, smoother taste, asterisk. And asterisk means versus regular Pepsi. It is smaller bubbles. And I would say, yeah, smoother. Because I don't think if I cracked two regular Pepsis, I could have drank in them that fast. Because carbonation is harsh. It's not really uh, enjoyable. Um, in that amount, anyway. But, I will say, if you try one of them, you necessarily need to try the other. The, the taste difference isn't all that different. But, I do uh, recommend that you try at least one of them. Um, the vanilla one maybe does have some vanilla flavor in it, but it's not really too big of a difference. Uh... Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video for the Nitro Pepsi. Um, I think other play, other sodas should try it. Maybe uh, uh, root beer would be a really good one to nitrogen, I think. Because uh, it's almost giving you the creaminess that like a root beer float would. 
uh, except you would be happy to add the dairy or a cream soda even. Um, so yeah, keep trying those and uh, maybe one of them will be really good. These two, all right. And with that, like, subscribe, thumbs up, all those things. I have a Facebook. You should add me as a friend. Uh, just look up the Fat Hipster on Facebook as well. Um, and you can uh, interact with me there or here in the comments below. And I'll sure get back to you in some fashion, one way or the other. Until our next video, though, I'll have to say goodbye. So goodbye.